Live. Live, you say. Good morning. Welcome to Natasha Makes. It's Monday. It's Makeup Monday. We are making stuff. In fact, we've already made quite a lot of stuff this morning. Oh. It's fair to say most of a particularly large quilt. It is my On The Up quilt. It was originally, gosh, we did this before we even moved here, didn't we? We did. Um, and this is it in Tim Holt. Uh, now I realise that this is quite dark and dramatic for a lot of people. I love it and I'm just going to put it out there. This is possibly my favourite quote that I've ever made ever. Dot, dot, dot. Um, but it's a really, really versatile pattern. Uh, not only that, but this was made with layer cake. It was actually a black layer cake that one was made with, would you believe? It was. Um, yes. And, uh, and then I added in the Tim Holtz to go with it. But there's absolutely no reason why you cannot do it with a charm pack make it half the size yeah. quarter of size yeah. quarter. small smaller <laughs> that'll do small but perfectly formed. oh gosh we had a yeah a mathematical moment there uh so that yeah should we see who's with us shall we That'd shall we nice. shall we it's me or is it really warm in here today i've got half a blanket on to be you fair have. yeah or is it just because we've been running around that too don't know that as well all of the things all of the things um did you have a good weekend everybody i was on a course and um, so, yeah, hence the mad rush to catch up everything today. Uh, right, who have we got? Uh, Vanessa and Colette, good morning. And Rona, oh, Rona loves it too. Jane, good morning. Posty just delivered my lovely Tilda, so I'm busy stroking it. Oh, good, good. Morning, Margaret. She's happy Monday. Morning, Colette. Morning, Patricia. Morning, Joe. Morning, everyone. Misty morning here in Snowdonia. Oh, the views from Joe's house. Just amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aww. Yeah. Um, morning, Sean. Morning, Ali. Alison F. Good morning, Natasha, and everyone from a cold and drich hood. Um, morning from Steve and I, says Helen. Morning, Colleen. Morning, Claire. Um, oh, good morning, Natasha and Gemma. No kids. Oh, gets better. No husband. Oh. Um, good morning, everyone from slightly dull Devon, says, uh, says Sue. And morning, Kay, as well, and Lucy, good morning. And uh, Julia, found you. Morning, all. She says, morning. Yeah, it was only the other week that we, we went AWOL, slightly. Yeah. Slightly AWOL. Um, Oleanne's got a poorly little man's day. Oh, mm. Get well soon. Morning, Myra. Yes, get well soon. Yeah, I forgot that bit. Morning, Deborah and Anne. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we go. Everyone's joining. This is nice. Um, so, 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 you might wonder how, what, what, how we're going to do this quilt today. <laughs> Not the only one. So, so am I. But, <laughs> but, Not but, true. Not true. Oh, I finished my lamp. Amazing. You know, we did the lampshade. Mm hmm. And finished then you it. You might look at that. Look at that. great on that bottle. Doesn't it? Yay. So, did the bottle come with all the artsy? flowery malarkey. yeah 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 it was, was it yeah no edition? so the bot it was a special bottle which is why i didn't throw it away Ooh. which is why i wanted to keep it so i've just filled it with epsom salts because they sort of sparkle and glitter a little bit um and i had some in my bathroom which always helps right you know if you've and got stuff weight. to hand and adds weight yeah. absolutely stuffed one of the light we've got to get some more of those light adapters haven't we because we've got they are a list of things we want from that fabulous supplier yes, we do yes. we do we do um and so yes that was that that was that done Fantastic job done. Uh, so then, 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 thinking about how to do this quilt, I love an ombre. And so I ombreed that, as you can see, but with Tim Holtz fabric. We've got some of these fabrics left by the half meter, not quite all, but you can, you know, you can choose your own and put them in should you wish. And then it is two and a half meters of just plain black that you need. This is a whopper, right? There is no getting away from the fact that this is a huge quilt. It takes five meters of fabric in total. It's a big one, but worth it, like really worth it. So when, 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 when the, oh, we've only got what I've got left here. Um, when the tulip pink one came in, I was like, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Well, that has kind of ombres and colors and rainbows and things in. So I had a choice. I could either get, because this is 10 squares across and eight down. All right, so I could either get eight different, 10, 10 or eight, depends which way around you want to do it, um, different rainbow colors and sort of rainbow it across, or I suddenly had 
I'm going to say a genius thought. Well, it worked for me anyway, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suddenly thought, hang on. Our super wides mm -hmm. are 108 inches. They are. This needs 10, 10 inch squares, right? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You, you're doing the maths here with me, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, therefore, I could get an entire ombre across there from those beautiful ombre backing fabrics that we've got. What's not to love? <laughs> and work that all the way across. Fabulous. And that's a new, yeah, technical crafty yeah. term. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just putting it out there. So that's what I did. That's and then I thought afterwards, <gasps> your books needs to be a dictionary of technical crafting terms. Do you know what? <laughs> have we have we mentioned my book? Have we told her? Yeah, yeah. you have. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. It was last week. Lots happened since then. Um, what was the other thing? And then when because J Jane and I um, have basically been team sewing this morning to get yes. this sample made, and we're going to just finish it off with you today. Um, it did suddenly occur to me that I could have done it in different colours. Mm. Yeah. I could have rainbowed. Yeah. And ombre. Yeah. All at once, but I didn't. I stuck with Natasha makes teal colours. So the strip set that we did, that would work. Probably casually sure just would. pop that in the. But that would work over over it. a lot of quilts. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to do this, if you want to do this, then you and and do it in. You'd need three. Hang on. There are eight. You'd need four different colours. That works, doesn't it? So you'd just need four half metres. Nice. Of your favourite super wide. Yeah. We went with, what did we go with? With a lovely tulip pink and the teal. So we're going to look at that. But also we're going to look at the fabulous new Lewis and Irene. And I'm kind of blaming them for the whole ombre debacle this morning because... <laughs> They're slightly more expensive than their other fabrics. But right? still not expensive. But still not expensive, no, in the Higher grand scheme of things. Price. Because they're digitally printed, mm -hmm. these ombres, that's how we're going to get that. I've got all the words. That, but actually, no, I've got no words. I've got actions. It's more like charades this morning. It is. <laughs> Which, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, we can work Great out. fun. Yeah, right, great fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is your Northern Lights. I mean, hello. That's rather lovely. This was from one of the previous collections. Gemma, how do we actually still have any of this? It's so beautiful. We did buy double <laughs> because yeah. it was so beautiful. Oh, yeah, because I, I say it was we. <laughs> it's that the royal which you. Mainly isn't it? me then. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Buyer here. Yeah. But what people won't see is that you flip it over, you flip that piece of fabric back, and ta da! There's the rest Look. of it. Oh, it's just. Well, in John Carl Morgan's words, Divine, Divine. Um, which means that you are going to get the full rainbow going on here. Whether you want it in brights, whether you want it in Le Pastel. Gemma's got all these tagged on today's shows because yeah. she is awesome. Um, and then this is your Northern Lights because, Gemma, what has happened today? What have we got on the show today? Drum roll. <laughs> what? You can't remember. <laughs> oh, come I on. Words, come on. Like fibro fog morning. <laughs> oh, fibro fog morning. <laughs> oh, any lights. old excuse. We've got the polar collection. We've got the polar collection. Yeah, is that the what little you meant? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, that's fine. I was like, no. what Northern Lights related thing should I remember here? The no. Polar bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polar yeah. bear. The, and the polar They are come the. <laughs> <laughs> the small things. Small things. So they do a different range of small things, don't they? They, they do. bring them out every And they now like and to again. revisit them every now and then. Yeah. Who doesn't like to revisit and this a small, is small thing? Things, polar it's like animals. going to your house. Yeah. Shush. <laughs> so rude. Small, small things, things. Polar animals. <laughs> which has nothing to do with the words of northern and lights, which threw me. I was clearly <laughs> thinking of your about? dogs. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, Me and you. my dog. Small you and your things. dog are small and petite and perfectly formed. Thanks. Um, right, here we go. <sighs> These are all a little bit special, it has they to be are. said. Because... Are they seals? They 
Each of the polar animals in these collections <laughs> what, the has, pro has frosty pearl effect elements to it. Hang on, what now? Yes. I'm just saying that because, you know... Oh, no, it does! There! Yeah. Hang on! Whoa, 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 whoa. And I say this because... Steady on. It wasn't yeah. obvious. Yeah. Look. But when you catch the light, oh. those pearl effects shimmer through and all of them have got a little bit of that oh going on. gosh. And then that lovely Northern Lights digital print is to go with. But I do feel that those lovely digital printed rainbows would go also, like you rightly say. Yeah, I mean, it would be um, really They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Um, oh, JCM is here. Morning, ladies. Morning. Uh, JCM, these in. are, in your words, divine. Oh, there's a sparkly polar bear. I don't think Monday morning could get any better, no. if I'm being honest. Oh, and look, you can't see the sparkles too well on the screen, but they are there. They are. Oh, I promise. Promise. He'll just have to sparkle for you. Look how he shines for you. This one, this one's shining quite a lot. Yeah. Ooh. Karen says, cold place come on, on Gemma, did you not rehearse this morning? I feel she credits us with a, le a <laughs> level of professionalism. <laughs> you can't rehearse live. Can't. You can't. How you, can you do that? You can't rehearse interacting with you either. Because oh, well, there's always things that. thrown in. It's fine. It's, it's exciting. A bit of a wild card. Keeps you on the edge. Of your oh no, no, no! There we go. Look at this. Hang on, hang on. Let me see which one. This one. This one. Ah, that you, one. Yeah, no, no, no. Look. Keep your eye better. on him. Look eye on the prize. Him. Eye on the prize. Look at him. Ooh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Sparkly bears. Um, that I'm, angle was really good. I could feel. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Well thanks. Done. You know, it's almost well like, done. You know. It's almost like you know what you're doing. I mean, let's not tell anyone that. Oh, I might nice. actually believe it. Um, just, I'm just going to say that I love these a lot. Um, Gemma, we have got a full collection of these, haven't we? We have. There's 15 of those and then the digital print separate. Can I just say? Um, beautiful. You're going to want them all. Yeah, I feel so. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a fox. Foxy, foxy. Let's show you Arctic the... Um, fox, not just yeah. any old fox. I know, I know, I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, penguins are also a lot of fun. I love penguins. I go to Birdland in Borton on the Water just to see the penguins. Do you? Oh. Now, you see, I am. Um, when I was doing A level art, we decided that we were bored, so we decided to take a trip out to Slimbridge. Nice. It's quite a way when you've just passed your driving test <laughs> in your little Fiat 900 dance uh, that does not like doing motorways very much. Um, but yeah, and happily, we managed to get our, all of our parents to pay for us to go because we said it was a school art trip. Yeah. We basically went to look at the ducks because I like ducks and flamingos. Yeah, yeah. That's effectively what it was. I'm not sure if we like actually painted any birds afterwards. But we had a great day out. We used to plan lots of little trips <laughs> just to entertain ourselves. Um, when just I did in case your mum and dad are watching, you know. Cheers, There's money really well spent. <laughs> I've told you about the um, photo situation, didn't I? Did I share that? I don't think so. I don't know I'll if it's appropriate to share an oh, hour. Oh, maybe or not. not then. Maybe later. When I've started now, and it's really rude to not finish I'm the story. I'm thinking we need to do a pre-record that's, you know, Natasha makes <laughs> after dark to be shown on New Year's <laughs> Eve, do you think? That no, could so be our pre-record, but just <coughs> at a different time of day. <laughs> so what happened was, we had to do um, a project on pain and suffering. That was our oh, art project, no. right? So, being the inventive 17-year-olds that we were, yeah. And, you know, our school had a really old attic, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yeah. So just to give you a flavour, Gemma and I went to the same school in Stratford. And, um, in fact, our sixth form building was yep. credited with having the balcony yep. that actually inspired Romeo and Juliet. Yes. Okay. So that gives you a flavour of the age of the building. A rumoured to be haunted old manor house. That's it. So we decide to trot on up to the attic. <laughs> We took a few ropes and bits no. and bobs. Oh, no. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, we basically full-on recreated a torture scene up nice. there. Nice. Yeah. And then sent it off to Boots to be a... <laughs> oh, beautiful. Back in the day when Snappy Snaps, Boots and Pronto Print were your options. <laughs> and because oh, we were no. skint students, we sent Laura's dad to collect them. <laughs> 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 yeah. So he now is on the list where he has to have all of his photos checked. <laughs> inappropriate <laughs> material. Good job we don't generally use those uh, <laughs> printing photos, eh? He wasn't very impressed I with us. he wasn't pleased. Mr Jordan, would like a word with you, please, about your photos. Oh. And then my daughters, 
Are they though? She's at an all girls school. <laughs> Not even any bit better. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. For those Arctic foxes. Oh, and this one glistens. Beautiful. I've now got, um, look how he shines for you. Coldplay in my head. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. I barely get my head around the fact these are 6.95, a half metre. Just beautiful. It's insane, isn't oh, it? Because they don't this, actually Irene. put any extra money on for all the no. shiny bits. No, they never do. And it's fabulous. These are rather fabulous. good, aren't they? Um, oh, 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 hang on a minute. Did someone say, no, oh, I know, love it. I adore this VV much. Yeah. I've got it in two other colours, do you want to see? Mini oh, PT was eyeing up the bottom one. Oh, was she? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Look. We're not to distract Karen today, apparently. Why, which Karen? Karen Hughes says, morning, you hope doing? you're all well. I've done loads of cutting this morning, well so lots of sewing to do. Good girl. Try not to distract me too much. I feel she may be watching the wrong show. She doesn't no. want to be distracted. We are now shining sparkly things in her direction. Sorry, Karen, we've broken the promise already. Could you, um, I mean, a sparkly narwhal dress for Morrison's <laughs> on, a, on a Tuesday, right? What's, what's with the not orcas to love and the with whales that? as well. Oh, groves are ringing us. Oh, of course they yeah, are. Yeah, of course they are. One day, Brilliant. one day, they will get their head around what we actually do to yes. sell their stuff. Yes. And not ring us in the middle of it. Yes. Every time. All the time. All the time. It's either them or my mother-in-law. Yeah, who forgets that you're Who forgets there. that, you know, Always. I work or anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. lovely Michelle Parkinson says, good morning, everyone. Received my NX7 on Friday after Yay! ordering on Wednesday. Yay! Wow, a whole new level of sewing, enjoying yep. the learning curve. Yep, do it. Um, so but the beautiful thing is, you now have a sewing machine you will never outgrow. I'm so excited for her. Did the other sewing machine go in the end or not? not is yet. it still sitting there? Not yet. <gasps> Come on, people, there's a thousand pounds off the price of this. Thousand pounds. It, they are. Um, they're refurbished. Yeah, no, they're refurbished <laughs> ones. Yeah. And look, do you remember when we just, all the stock we had last time just went? Flew. Just yeah. went. Um, but we are the only, only place in the country to sell refurbished Dukey yeah. from Franklin's, from Dukey. Right? We're the only ones that they allow to have it. Yeah. Because, you know, we're a bit special, Jim. Yeah, we are. Um, they trust right. us with that. Gemma has just loaded, which we did not previously have, the Tim Holtz. Yes, Portland Street in Patina. Um, which, do you know what, now looking at it... It came in afterwards. It's the only blinker one that isn't actually in that quilt. I feel so, yeah. <laughs> Probably because it didn't come in on time. There it is. But you could make your own layer cake, couldn't you, out of your chosen fabrics? Well, you absolutely could. You absolutely could. Jane um, was telling me a layer cake is the equivalent two to and a half two meters. and a half metres. It sure is. Yeah. Two and a half metres and choppy chop into ten inch squares and you've got yourself a layer choppity cake. Choppity chop. What we're going to do is choppity chop this. Gem, I'm going to use this one today, just so you know. Oh. Is that our polar bears? It is. Beautiful. Sure is. Um, did we sell out of the Strip Cut Pro? Yes. Did we? Yeah. Mm. Uh, normally, my favourite, my most favourite thing, we might have to get some more of these then. Normally, my most favourite thing in the world is my Stripology ruler. I say, like, in the world. That's quite a big statement, isn't it? Like, there are other things I quite like as well. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm honest. But, 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 yeah. Um, however, uh, this is very useful because you can cut straight off the bolt. You don't have to fold it, which is very useful right now. Yeah. I've taken half a metre, Gemma. I'm going in mm. now. <laughs> Just so as you know. This I is might have more later. on night sky. Well, they are on night sky. Yeah. And they're now on my quilt. And so half a <clears> metre left. <throat> yeah, absolutely. That is when I would use my strip cut. And then I'd go back to my stripology. Because this has got the non-slip grip. Yeah. And I don't care what you say, if it ain't got a non-slip grip, you saw me sort of slightly, you know, you need it. You either need to remember and really put your hand on it, which I forget because I'm used to my stripology, or, and 
that's your, you know, I will give the review. I will give the reviews, Gemma. Mm -hmm. Whether people like it or not. Well, quite. Bit of that, bit of this. We're all good to go. And um, so I'm just going to give it a quick press. I might have brought some little bundles back to life today and given those a little a twiddle around on the little collection. Little bundles well, brought back to life. What are you had, talking about? We had a little deal. Did we? Um, yeah, with flatter and a pressing mat. And I just thought... Oh, this is that one of those. little bundle. Yeah. Right, if you want to do this quilt, as you can see, it's all half square triangle. So this is fundamentally a super easy beginner quilt. Yeah. Now, if you choose to make it absolutely insanely massive, that's on you. It's on me. Yeah. I got carried away. I you just did. kept going. I still love it. This gives me great joy. Yes. This hangs in my office always. Right in front of your desk where you can see it all the time. <sighs> just in fact, I think that was the photo on... Is that going to be the photo on the front of the pattern? It is, isn't it? Yeah. I've, um, I've loaded some pickies on today as well so people yeah. can not get confused. And, um, yeah, I do. I, I heart it very much. And do you know what? It was made very, very quickly in a bit of a rush for a show. <laughs> no surprise there, right? And um, the points are very, very far from being perfect. Do I care? Not one jot, I tell you, not one jot, because the colour and the movement in the fabric just gives me such great joy that I really don't care. And I just love it. And you say about the points not being right, but it's, I can't, you know, I'm looking at it, I'm trying to find them. Yeah. <laughs> it looks great from here. Thanks. Um, so, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, I'm really, really warm. Um, <laughs> you are wearing a blanket. <laughs> I am wearing a blanket. I think I over. I tell you what it was. I was on a course on the weekend, and I spent all weekend basically sitting where you are, and I got really cold. Yeah. And I still think I'm cold because you were still. And I'm not. Yeah. I'm actually really warm. Just so everyone knows. So you're actually that. moving and doing stuff today. My mother's watching, no doubt she's there going, oh, Natasha, too many layers, Natasha, too many layers. Well, no, it's just take two. Off, it's take just off two that heads. layer. You won't feel benefit when you get outside. I That's probably won't. And do you know where we're going <laughs> directly after the show? The calf. No, we're calf. going to the yeah. calf because you know what we're going to have? Uh, bacon and sausage sandwich. Yes, we are, with some egg in there. Oh, not for just me. Just so you know. Not for me. But yeah. what, no, not what, not the egg. No egg. No oh, egg. I'm very hungry today. No. So anyone else didn't eat properly yesterday either. So that's no good, is when it? When I had that bacon and sausage sandwich the other day, I got home. I was still full in the evening. I didn't eat any tea. It was no lunch, no tea. They do the best sausage and bacon sandwiches, <laughs> um, and that's that's our lovely Jane with her big flowery baps. Yes. She's. You got the last of Jane's big flowery baps, but I had. Well, yeah, you had her bread, bread, didn't you? Beautiful yeah. No, I don't bread. like the granary bread as much. It does bloat me though. Big tummy. Huh? Big tummy after that. Oh, but, but I love it. I know, love right? It. Now, <laughs> the, we've basically made a charm pack of bears. Is there, what is the collective noun for bears? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Google is our friend. I love a collective noun. I wonder noun. if I can Google and uh, guess it quicker than <coughs> Margaret can tell me. Oh, Margaret will know. Margaret, you know everything. Come on. Come on, Step Margaret. Step up. Step up, Margaret. Where are you? Uh, oh, there's different for polar bears. It's a celebration. <gasps> of course, oh. it's a celebration of bears. Well, a celebration of all, polar bears. Oh, all about the celebration of bears. I love now, that. <laughs> a group Gem. of bears is a sleuth or a sloth, but a, a group of polar bears is called a celebration, according to that there Google. I mean, I, I, this is an instance where I, I don't want Google to be wrong. A sleuth of bears, a sloth of bears, but a celebration of polar bears amazing learn something every day Tash. i'm up for that i'm also up for having either northern lights or my ombre au bears look at that i feel you need to I overhead know. this you well i will be this. but it's it. not all going to fit on the overhead gem oh it's very which upsetting. is why you know in my producer capacity <laughs> <laughs> i did not overhead it yet but I will just rearrange these to of try and fit them on t t screen. So look, shall we? There almost we like you know what you're doing. I mean, almost. Oh Don't tell anyone. Um, so this is our starting oh, point. I, this fabric so much. I know. I know. That's why I bought double, Gemma. That is why I bought double. Yes. So all I've done is cut my five-inch strips 
rearranged them so you know and just arranged them and just made sure that when they go together we are keeping oh. the ombre right guess what i'm going to be buying later i know this the other gorgeous. thing to bear in mind okay is that when you've got them stacked up like here the ombre is all going in the same way uh-huh okay and so this is how this is going to look one of those one of those now you can do this one of two ways if i were jane why are you laughing nothing if i would you'd use more pins um well <laughs> if i were jane i would draw diagonally across there mm -hmm. yeah and i would stitch a quarter of an inch down one Either side, side. Yeah. spin it stitch quarter of an inch down the other side cut down the drawn line cut down the drawn line and we can do that however i'm not jane i know i know this is news to everyone i'm not and um i sew at speed i'm not saying jane doesn't i sew at speed i'm just going to make sure that i've got that yeah okay and so the situation that i find myself in jenna is that actually it is easier for me to trim it and stitch down both sides that gives me a better finish okay just saying just saying and what that will do is give me one one side and one the other mm -hmm. so top and bottom of the quilt mm -hmm. okay so then the next one, right sides together. If you want to give them a little press, you know, do. Or a little spritz and a little press if you didn't pre-spritz pre, pre and press. Just kind of helps keep them together. And this is, so this is just how I do it excited about this yeah, well yeah and also because because okay so two things I stitch at speed but I also have a guide on my quarter of an inch foot mm -hmm. okay which is why I can stitch at speed if I'm going down one side and up the other that foot has to come off right and there was no way that I was going to be able to make a quilt this size this morning mm -hmm. and oh do you know what else made i've had a lovely makey morning <laughs> i don't know if that's this is what we're doing tomorrow i know that i get a bit distracted Gemma, sometimes very you know, exciting but there we go there's the pin you had this hanging up but then we had to move it when we were demolishing the set and resetting it I'm <laughs> look at this you bought lots and lots and lots of really I bought so many sparkly, things, sparkly for things for you. I've got a little bit sparkly tastic, and is my new. I mean, look at that for a Christmas decoration. It's fabulous, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I've got these and all the glitter tomorrow. Not actual glitter because they were like actual glitter. I'm going to have to put some glue on that pin and that in keep it in but for now or we could have it like a glitter ball yeah i think so bear with uh, whatever happens today i feel we've achieved something spectacular i mean you have you've made most of a quilt and it's a really really that. beautiful christmas decoration i'm just going to applaud myself Look because it's so pretty it looks great um, against that background but also what we've done mm. is we've hit on something that Margaret didn't know. And um, I feel that she's given so much to us in the, you know, the answers that she's given us over the time. We always can ask Margaret and she generally knows. Did she not we've, know? We've found something that she didn't know this time. So I feel we've given something back. Well, that's a beautiful thing, isn't I it? I think so. It's so, that yeah. give and take of the show. Beautiful, beautiful. What did, what, did she not know it was a celebration of polar bears? She didn't know, and she, she said she didn't know the collective noun for bears, which was a sleuth or a sloth of bears. Um, so there we go. 
How can you have a collective noun that is actually another animal? I know, I found that That's odd. weird. Yeah, and no it one you didn't know. You know, sleuth as in like, you know, Cluedo type and sloth. Those two are apparently both collective nouns for bears. Odd. Helen says, how much fabric will you need of the plain colour on the quilt, please? The big one. That's the big one, two and a half metres. Well. Yeah. Yeah, because you just match... You just match it. So if, if you imagine that a layer cake is two and a half metres, you need two and a half metres of your plane. Or if you're going to rainbow, then just get yourself half metre of each. So each of those takes up a half metre of a plane. Yeah. If you want to make it that size, like it's just it's entirely up to you how big you want to make these. That's the really beautiful thing about it. And what I'm showing you is effectively how to do the top and the bottom layer, and then you just keep going. Hmm. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. But it's two layer cakes for a big one, two charm packs for a little one is yeah. effectively where we're at. Yeah. But to buy your planes, it's yeah. two and a half. Thank you. And I'm just going to get these all... I say I'm just going to get these all lined up. I've now forgotten which one I'm on. So I'm just going to cut them. And uh, you could layer them up, of course, to cut. But I just want to keep these in order. If you're That's making the, the little today. one, Tash, like you are now, a metre would be more than enough, would it? Of your plane. Would, wouldn't it? A metre of your plane. Yeah, because the charm pack's like a quarter the size of a layer cake. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you're playing black, you need for example. One, so you need... Oh, I hate it, we're having to do my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are going to need 50... Yeah, to go all the way across would be 50 inches. But actually, if you take it... that um, Each one of those is a five-inch strip. Mm. Yeah. So you would need a metre. Yes, yeah, yeah. spot on a metre. Yeah. If you're planning on making um, the charm pack version, um, yeah. any mistakes, get a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can make a cushion. Right, exactly. <laughs> and have a bit for your stash. Oh, hang on. Anne says, you need a first aid in English in the studio. We'll answer these questions. I don't, I don't know what that... What was the question? I don't know what the question was. I think that's for the, um, the collective noun, maybe. I do love collective nouns. Yeah. It was one of my favourite things in English. Because they're so random. And when you think about it, because you've got a parliament of owls, which sort of makes it sound like politicians might be wise. But then have you seen that photo of the owl with its feathers hitched <laughs> up? And actually it's got really, really long skinny legs and it will ruin, ruin you for owls for the rest of your life. Yeah. I'm not kidding. And that just makes me laugh. And I'm like, yeah, that's more, that's more like Parliament. And um, you can tell I'm not really into politics currently that much. Or oh. ornithology, necessarily. Sorry? Or ornithology, necessarily. Uh, no, look, I, 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 <laughs> I do like to see a good pair of owl legs. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Who doesn't? I'm used to seeing birds that have, like, been in a bath. So that they look skinny. So I, I know what they look like underneath all that. No, I know, but but Al, on, I will but find this photo funny. of the owls. It is very, very funny, and really not what you expect because they look so austere, don't they, owls? And you know, we all, and then, um, and then they actually just have really long, skinny legs and look ridiculous. Does your dad bathe his pigeons then? Um, on a hot day, he'll put a bath out for them. It's like a big tray, you know. Um, Baby, like... You know, like the big bread trays they have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, without holes in, obviously. That yeah. kind of size. And yeah. they fill them with water and chuck them. On a sunny day, they'll fly around for a bit and then get down and have a, have a good old swoosh around and they get their feathers in and flip them around. And, yeah, they yeah. like it. Auntie Lizzie's seen that owl picture. She knows the one that I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring about two boxes to do for these. Sorry? Um, technically there is a third, but I haven't printed off the label for it. If Jen wants to print off the label for it, then uh, there is a third to go. Oh, is that our nice DPD man that's always early and always really friendly and never minds the fact that we're never quite ready for him? We're organised really, aren't we? Yeah, 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 it's one of those. Gemma knows exactly what needs to be printed oh. off. Mm. 
you know where to go. If you go down to collections. Oh, sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with. Yeah, is it this one here? Go down to collections and then go on to the Royal Mail page and then print generate label. Royal Mail this is the other exciting Royal side Mail of... Royal Mail DPD, because it's a... You'll be going to the Royal Mail page because it's they're collecting Ah, it. generate DPD label. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. everyone. Has Haven't he gone? done this for a bit. Oh, is the printer on? That's the other thing. Well, I mean, teamwork, right? <laughs> uh, he wasn't due yet, everybody. He's always early. He we should is. know, shouldn't we? I'm just going to press these open, by the way. He's ever so lovely, though. Takes approximately three years to generate this label as well. It like does take three years to generate the label, and then it takes another button. three years to actually get it to print off. I always think I haven't pressed the button properly, but I have. Amazing, it's on. thank it's you. On. We're on. Excellent. I feel everyone's part of the experience now. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you wanted to be or not, absolutely. Oh, Gem, these are looking a bit good. They are looking a bit gorgeous. You're quite pleased with yourself. But, do you know what? Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> it's important. And yet, clearly, there's room for massive error for me this morning with this because. Box, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't met. Yeah. That's sitting in like another box that I will get around to, you know. Um, because it's temperamental and I really hate it. I'm going to mute for a second and uh, pop another look. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma has the um, Gemma has the technology skills for the printer. I just want to throw it out the window. Which is strange because she generally breaks the other one. But for some reason. She has the gift with this printer. They all have their little intricacies, don't they? Which is always fun. Oh, I think I've mixed these up. No. There we go. That one, then that one. I did say, didn't I, there was going to be mass room for error on this. I didn't lie. However, it is looking rather delightful. So this is... Oh, now she's singing. Why are you singing? Oh, she's singing you welcome. Exactly. We do, we do. <laughs> I get it now. Um, our viewers obviously didn't know what was going on. I, I wasn't on mic. <laughs> you weren't on mic? No, but I just told everyone. Um, have I just done two of the same? I might have, you know. I might have got myself confused and done two of the same colourway. And I think that's okay. And do you know what else? Margaret's what enriching our knowledge again. Oh, good. What's her favourite collective noun is an unkindness of ravens. Do you know, they are really unkind. They, they? If there was going to be a bird that was unkind, you'd it probably put it out there as a raven. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I always think of the Tower of London with a raven. Yeah. And that ain't pretty, is it? I mean, no. that good stuff does not happen there. Have I got myself really confused and done two of everything I have, haven't I? Oh, I'm just fun. getting ahead. Yeah, clearly. That's all right. It's all right. I will come back to it later. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm here. I just have these to do now. That's it. And then we start to get an idea, generally getting there, of how this is going to go. Right? Right. Um, and you will have lots of fun doing this and just stroking the fabric. For it is lush. That one, then that one. There we go. I'm going to lay these up, you know, speed things along a little bit for everyone. Um, I'm so glad, Gemma, that mm. you did a bundle of all of these fabrics because I was looking at them on the shelf and you could ombre the actual animals themselves and just do it with a plain mm. black or plain blue or with the... Um, with the uh, northern lights, absolutely would look super special because you can sort of see how they could be rainbowed mm. there. We're getting there, Gem. Well, you know, we try. Here we go. Is Mr. DPD man happy? Ooh, is I assume so. I can hear cutting now continuing next door, oh. which means Jane's probably placated away him. This lovely box of goodies. Of goodies, yeah. hooray! There we go. Oh, Geraldine's received her tilda and loves it. I've come undone. 
Oh, that's all good fun. I do love a layer cake or charm pack make. I think most people know that about me now. I, I just like these things where they're, uh, you know. Oh, no, for sure. Pre-cuts are a bit of a favourite of mine. This is... I, um, I womble them. This I is how you started, wasn't it, with pre-cuts? Yeah. Well, I started with a solid panel, a cheetah panel, I believe the Americans call it. Um, Do they? Yeah. Okay. Where that you know where it looks like they're oh yeah we've had yeah work. we've had those yeah. yes with like the the board we had it with the motor didn't we beautiful motor yeah and you just sandwich them together and then machine along the lines yeah um, but then it was charm packs and I stayed with charm packs for quite some time until I got a stripology ruler because I was well too that's just it because and this is this is the story this is what I hear time and time and yeah. time again I'm too scared to cut I can't cut accurately blah 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 just get yourself a stripology ruler. Do you know what? Yeah. Um, you know lovely Tracy Perks, who designed uh, the lovely big bee quilt that we did? We love In two and a half inch, uh, mm -hmm. and, the, and the stag, she did those ones. Mm -hmm. She has only just realised that there's a, such a thing as a stripology ruler. She said, I think this might help me with my designs. It's like, uh, do yeah. There's no yeah. think about it. It's there isn't. Like, it, I don't know how she would manage without one, quite frankly. No. Uh, Julia, I don't know why most people insist on ringing in the morning. Do they not know? Do they not know? I mean, come on. But I, I love a layer cake or a, a charm pack make. I think it's... And it's, it's also quick. a great way to get a full collection of fabric. Yes. Really at great. an affordable price. Which is always a bonus. And we've sent some cracking patterns, actually, for well, layer cakes like the Calms Oh, do you know what? I that forgot was. to bring the Calms yeah. quilt back because I was in a rush. Well, I've tagged it in the collection for anyone who wants to have a little peek. But it was and there was also Jane's... Popular. Um, twist amazing and twist and turns yeah. quilt, which was just phenomenal. So always worth a little look. Because on the it is tempting, isn't it, when you buy a charm pack or a layer cake to sort of womble it away and not use it. So these patterns would be really helpful for it's that. It's almost like you know us, Gemma. Ah, it's almost like I am a wombler myself. Um, yeah, just womble things away. But you did the super easy charm pack lap quilt as well, which I love. And that is the perfect lap that quilt size mm. or if you have um, a grandbaby on the way or anything like that it's a very quick make as well isn't it quick easy yet beautiful yeah. that's what we want because some quilts need to be beautiful and intricate and you know lots of tiny you know what, detail a time and a place for everything yeah. and Jane does all the beautiful intricate really detailed stuff and for me you know. And also, sometimes you want a quick quilt that a child yeah. can drag around. And, and you know, drape over the dog yeah. or whatever it is that is going to happen to that quilt. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's, that's how it goes. I made a quilt for my friend's son. Um, yeah. And he was two at the time. And I remember him opening it. First thing he did, because I'd fleece backed it, was rub it against his face and lie on it. But then he dragged it in the garden and started pulling it all around the lawn and yep. was, you know, putting his tractor across it and everything. Yep. And his mum for a minute there was like, oh, oh that, that's it. And I was like, no, no, no I've made being this loved. one for that for purpose. Yeah. I haven't, you know, done this. spent a silly amount of money on, you know, having twiddly diddly diddly things done to it. And I've just quilted it very simply myself because there's yeah. a time and a place. Oh, I did not quilt this myself. This went no. to... Um, this went to Amanda it at the did. little quilt house. It yeah, did. yeah, yeah, for sure. But if you were um, making something for Emily to drag around the garden, you'd probably just run it through and die. But this is quilt this it. is the sort of thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but this is the sort of thing that I would send off to be professionally yes. quilted because a I don't have the time, and b um, uh, it's just too big for me. It's just yeah. I mean, it was huge, and well, it would just it would just take me too long. But that's why we yeah. have, and I will keep reiterating it. We have on the website the gift vouchers for we Amanda's do. services. Because then, you know, maybe if you've got kids or whatever that don't know what to get you for Christmas, yeah, they could get you that. They could get you that. So now, what we have, Gem, I am going to keep these together because I am going to make this quilt. Good, good. At some That's point. Um, maybe not today. That detailing as well that Amanda can do, it is beyond the realms of what we can do Oh, it do makes the quilt. Ourselves. So this has got all big swirly, swirly, whirly things. There's no way... No, with all the best will in the world, there's no way that I have the skill to twirly, whirly, whirly, woo all over that, but it just makes it for... This is looking rather fabulous, isn't it? I'm excited for tomorrow's show. I'm excited to show you all the bling that I went out and bought you on... Um, when did I do that? 
Thursday, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I finished at the craft store and I went. I was like, right, I am going to go and get you some bling. And I did. And I rang me squealing. Squealing with excitement and joy. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Absolutely did that. Here we go. I'm not proud. Right. No. Now, you've got to decide which way up these now go. Okay? Do you want that to go that way? Or which way would you like it to go? But basically, do them opposite. So this is your top line, and this is your bottom line. So they're going to go in opposite directions. Okay. Like so. So they're all pointing in on themselves. Are we loving it, Jenna? Beautiful. Now, if you have all the time in the world, then you can trim back and make sure that these are absolutely perfect. If you have all the time in the world. Gemma, do we have all the time in the world? Not always, no. Not in always. fact, in your case, no, never. No. <laughs> Not at all. Um, there we are. Now. Oh, Helen's just joined us and she says, are you making bunting? Uh, no. no making fabulous quilts. Barbara wants to know what the three, three, beautiful four, quilt, five. which fabrics you used in that behind you. Now that was Tim Holtz. Um, we have a few of the Six. styles still available by the half meter and a few half meter headwinds that I've tagged today. Mm. But that one was made a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and so today Natasha's done a different version. Right, so this one is going to be slightly different. And this is a new um, version. Right, let's get these in. now. I'm going to do, for this particular quilt, it's going to be sort of the other way around. So instead of having 10 across, I've got 8 across and it'll be 10 down. Nice. Yeah. And this is, and I'm doing, I'm setting it out like this so that you can see. Because, what, <laughs> I'll get there. And so you can do this with any of them. So you can lay them out, oh, it's <coughs> but you want to switch these and just spin half of them so that they go that way. So that is then going to give you your ombre across. So here, this is your bottom line here, and please, if you don't have a quilt wall, just lay them out and be really, really careful about how you lay them out. So that's all fine. We're all going in there and then spin. Spin, spin, spin. Okay. So what you'll see is that your colours are all pointing outwards like that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're just going to sew them together but what you'll do then is you'll then do your next line and then the middle line is just going to be where these meet going in opposite directions beautiful right Okay, should we do that? Should we just so stitch that. them together? Um, yeah. Do you know what? Have I done that right? Have I done that right? No, well, it depends. Different. Oh, yeah. Different. Like a diamond this one, shape. Yeah, in the it's, yeah, this one's going to be. But you can play around and have them however you want them. Mm -hmm. There's no. There's no way that it needs to be. And if you want to trim off, if you do. If you do decide to trim them back, absolutely, then do. That's great. I, what I will do with these is I will put on a, um, just a black and white diagram for you to see and then pick your accent piece um, to then, you know, that's going to be like the one that really shows, shows up for you. Your standout one. 
So on the quilt behind me, that would be the black one. And, um, and then you can organize everything around it. And I'll do it so that you can, um, so that you can color it in and you can actually plan your quilt out yourself because everyone's going to have different ways they're going to want to do this. I can't wait to see this one made up. Hmm? I can't wait to see this one made up. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's going to be an absolute treat. Yes, it is. So, in pairs first. Mm, ba, 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 ba. Auntie Lizzie says she made silk and velvet dresses for one and two year olds to wear and hammer into the ground for play and gardening. A Beautiful. little Chanel style dress for gardening. Moms are horrified, but I'm horrified if they stay in the wardrobe. It's exactly how I feel. Yeah, right, absolutely. Get use out of them. Oh, and Lowe says that she spent months making a quilt. She started to free motion quilt it, made a complete hash of it, so stopped and has never made a quilt again. No. It sat there, not finished, all till the fabric. This is the thing, isn't it? You know, it's it, the quilting scares a lot of people. Um, it does. I've I've got one. I've got one that I was going to donate to the Dogs Trust. It was a quilt top that was um, that was done on sewing quarter, and it was just abandoned. So I finished it off, and then I started. And this was before I really knew much about the actual quilting side of things. Yeah. Made an absolute hash of it, and it's still sitting. It's still sitting at home. So it was one I was just going to, you know, sell for for charity. And um, yeah, I might need to do something about that at some point. Yeah. But this is where services that you know Amanda offers, and you know someone's mentioned JCM does as well. He absolutely he does. does. He absolutely he's a does. Busy I think old he's, bee. he's got <laughs> he's got one of mine actually. He has. He's yeah. got a bit of a backlog, I think, at the moment. But he absolutely does. Well, he's been moving house. He and has. Doing all sorts of and stuff, then busy isn't he? designing for us as well because he's with us. He. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you should soon. see what he's going to do for us next year, which is strange to start think, but we are thinking about we next are. year already. So, I mean, you have options here. Okay, you can. You can do it like that. So that they all, they're going to go in together. Um, I think. How would that? I'm just trying to think how I've got that so that it goes. You chevroned it, didn't you? So you did the yeah, same no, I did, row basically I did three, four times, and then there. did your little. That's that's point. how it. Yeah. So that's how it will go. So basically, on okay. the top top ones. You have it so that the colour is at the top, mm -hmm. and then the bottom ones, the colour is at the bottom, like so. And this will be where they meet. And we will do this, but on on the big one. And this is the only bit where it's different. And then all of these lines will be in the same direction, and all of these lines will go in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? Does that make any sense at all in the world? You've got this lovely upward pointing motion. Which there, is why it's called on, on the, the up. But lay it out so that it looks like that. So that would be your middle strip. Oh, Claire Angelina that says that her this. almost seven-year-old loves a pattern, so she gets him to do this part, lay out the blocks. I think it's great for kids, really great for kids to, to do that. So that's, yeah, so you can see that is your middle strip. And then all of these ones above go with that direction, and all of those ones below go in the other direction yeah. and so all whooshed. and that was that was just how how it was made so that's how you would put it all together I'm just going to sew those center ones together and then and then Gemma I'm going to show you if you are using a layer cake mm -hmm. and the extra wide backing fabric now bear in mind right we have got some beautiful cave backing fabrics absolutely stunning cave backing fabrics there is no reason why you couldn't use those and a black i adore those back i mean you know they're uh, mercerized cotton as well aren't they they feel incredible they do feel they do feel and some people won't these so this the ones that i'm using the motor ones aren't mercerized some people won't want to mix that texture 
and that's fine. There we go, look at this. Now, just one more thing to mention. <laughs> Button, it's gonna look amazing. Um, is this here, that is, that's your seam allowance, so don't worry that, that that doesn't meet there. This is all your seam allowance, okay? We're good. I'm going to leave these in a very safe place, Gemma. It's gorgeous. I, it's not very often that you get a really beautiful fabric that looks even better when you've chopped it up. <laughs> no, I know. Do you know what it is? It is unusual. Yeah. Um, and now I'm just a little bit worried about how I'm going to leave these so that I can come back to it later. Do you know what else? Your wonderful shelves. You see, if I was to do the botanical ones, I would be ombreing in all your naturals and all your neutrals. It'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? It'd be absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful. You know, just work through. Basically, um, if you look at our plain fabrics, mm -hmm. number 70 is black. Mm -hmm. 75. 75. Yeah. 70 or 75? 75. 75. Um, but then I'd start probably about number two in. I wouldn't go bright white. Mm -mm. Number two is um, ivory. ivory. And then I'd go across from there, maybe picking every other one yeah. to then get my colours to go with Janet Clare's one. I didn't think we had any of these left, these big Christmas ones. Honestly, so few. So few. So few. Everybody loves a Christmas make. Even if you just stitch that together so that you've got a big Christmas blanket. Yeah. And then we've got a few of the pumpkins and blossoms. And they're lovely. And they're um, not I always think that is very misleading in terms of its yeah. name. I think it's, it sounds like it's going to be autumnal, but it's, it's really not. It's got thing. fresh greens in there. Mm -hmm. It's really lovely in neutral tones and not a pumpkin actually to be seen. Mm -hmm. I don't really think. Um, so they are other layer cake options for you. But as Gemma says, do take a look at the website because, because, because um, we have got some fantastic layer cake based things. Gem, I'm going to show all of those brand new fabrics tomorrow. Thought you might, because I like the colours. <laughs> so. And I want to do them justice. Yes. Why not? Sounds like a good plan. Jacqueline, we loved your card. We loved the sparkly whiskers. Thank you so much. Um, we said, really love the sparkly whiskers. We really love the sparkly whis <laughs> whiskers, yeah. Do you know, we've had some lovely letters and cards and things. Really lovely. And, you know, moving your new home card. We've had all sorts. We do appreciate them. We've got them all... But around quite the place. a few about the pay it forward as well and um, Patricia, you know who you are, you write to you every month. You know who you are. Every month. Every Patricia. month. Dear Patricia. I'm not going to mention the surname just in case, um, but I do know it. And she writes to us every month and sends her beautiful pay it forwards as well. Um, and so many of you are loving that project. So thank you for, you know, taking part and sending us your lovelies. Because we will find a home for them if you can't. Always. Of course we will. Look at this. Look at this. So this was this morning's little project. Poor Jane. Jane! Jane! I need your help. I need your help. She's like, and she just, she's very good natured is our Jane. Yes, she is. And she'll just give a slightly dubious, what now? She'll appear in a minute. She'll have heard you say, Jane, I need your help. Here we go. <laughs> Jane, Jane, no, she look. No, this I was morning just when she oh said, right. Jane, I need your yeah. help, I need your help, Jane. But I had a feeling you'd hear that and be oh, here. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, that's wonderful. A, a call to arms. <laughs> no, she's look referring to this. Look at it, sparkly purple. A bit gorge, isn't it? Um, so Jane and I were busy team sewing. Well, te we're, basically, we had this out on the floor. Oh, no. You see, I've got to glue those. I'm going to move that because I'm just going to break it. I only roughly pin that in and it needs proper pinning in with glue. There with glue. Right. Do you get the idea? It's a very different look, isn't it's it, this really one? It's a very different look, but it looks great. But same pattern. So, what we've done instead is we've taken the layer cake, it's a Tula pink layer cake, and We've taken the ombre fabrics. This is a backing fabric. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's moisturised. Um, but you might be unsure on how to cut it. And I want to show you um, how I did it 
because I did it wrong the first time round, which means that I now have 108 inches of backing fabric to make into baubles for tomorrow. <laughs> nothing is lost, <laughs> nothing is wasted. It's all good. They're all going to be on, tr on, on brand colours. They are. If you have a big cutting mat like mine, spin it around. We're going to use that lengthways, okay? Because when you get your fabric, it is all folded. You're going to have to use your cutting mat for this. Absolutely no doubt about it. You're going to have to use your cutting mat um, because none of the other rulers are big enough. And you will probably, with these, end up trimming them back. That is the honest answer. So I've cut this earlier so it's flush-ish, but otherwise cut on your zero line. And when I did this, I'm not going to lie, I went the other side of the cutting mat so that my ruler was on there because I can't, I'm not left-handed, so I'm not going to do that and just go around the other way so you're cutting away from yourself. You want to line up the bottom on a line, get everything so that it is nice and square and then you're going to use your mat. If you have a stripology ruler, not stripology ruler, if you have a 24 inch ruler, all I would say is line your inch line, rather than lining it along the bottom of your fabric, line your inch line on one of the rows on the mat and you want to cut 10 inches. Get part way, then realign the other end, yeah, and again lining everything up, continue to cut. Okay. Once you've got you these can pieces spit of your kit, mat back. Huh? You know, once you've got these pieces of kit in your armory, you're amazed how often you call on them. Aren't do you, you know? Yeah, it's one of those things. You know, people say, "Do I need a cutting mat that big?" But actually, it's incredibly useful. Yeah. I also use a lot my square cutting mat. I mm. take that to Ho Chanda because not Ho Chanda craft store because it's not as big and bulky to take. But then I'll invariably be there and go, oh, "Actually, I just want that little bit extra." Yeah. Um, I do like these mats. I do like them a lot. I've got one right. like that, but also I use my Fiskars rotating cutting mat. I had a Natasha Makes gift card for my birthday, and um, oh, that has been a godsend as well. Well, all of these things get used, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. And just this, the even the manufacturers, I think, struggle with this length of fabric. Yeah. 108 inches, selvage to selvage, is 270 centimetres. Big. Big Ooh. boy. It is. So, you know, what I would then do is then, and it is now double, doubled over, then get your stripology out and then cut your 10 inches off there as you go. Now, we're going to cut 10, it's 108 inches, so we're going to be left with 8 inches left on one end. You just need to decide where that's going to be for you. And then again, just be careful. It's just about keeping, if you're using ombres, just keeping them in order. Yeah. You know, that's all it is. But yeah, these might not be as quite as squared up. You will want to square these off once you've done them, if you have time. If you are rushing to get a show done, Gemma, I'm going to say the chances are you're not going to manage to square off every single square. Do you want to ask me how I know? I was just about to say. <laughs> how would you know? Oh, <laughs> you know, just don't look too closely, right? But again, this is going to be another quilt that there was, we could have taken a lot of time to go through and work out maybe we want to ombre the actual um, tulip pink fabrics in there as well. Like We could have done that. And you can sometimes, I think, overthink it. That's my eight inches left, by the way. That's got a little Christmas bauble written all over it. Um, so we've sort of gone with mishmash. And the beautiful thing is, so the top line is going to be the same as the bottom line. 
but also the top half echo everything is echoed mm -hmm. so not only so you've got tremendous movement in here you've got your zebras that are going off in that direction they're also in that direction you've got the um, peacocks that are going to be there and there so whatever way you look at this so this is perfect for a bed or a sofa or something like that because whatever way up it is you're going to see something in the direction that you need to look at it in if that makes sense does that make sense Making any sense? Who knows? Right. So, in this charm pack, Tula gives you three of everything. Three of each design. Amazing. Yeah. So, that meant, so let's say, for example, the Black Swift, that one. I've got three of those. So, one of them has been used in this top one. One of them has been used in the bottom one which means that then when we get to the middle strip, which is the strip that we're doing now, it's going to be in there somewhere. So it's almost like the patterns themselves in this are going to ombre out as well. That's what we're hoping for. What I also need to look at is, there we go. So let's have a little look, shall we? Um, I am going to start with so there was one that I missed cut earlier so I'm just going to cut this diagonally and cut it we um, we had this laid out on the floor this morning Gem did you see I did when I came in it was all going on <sighs> yeah um, and so do do lay it out do lay it out so one side is going to be like that but I've got two of this particular ombre color so that's going to be the top and the bottom because I'm doing two rows at a time with mm -hmm. these okay so the next one I'm just going to pick them randomly to be fair I say that I am going to double check And so, whoop, this will finish off this mega quilt. So you know how we just laid out the, the um, polar bears? Yeah. It's those two, it's that middle, middle one that we are now sewing. And it might be, I don't know how we're doing on time. It might be that we lay it out on the desk and, and stitch it together and put a photo on Facebook for you. But you'll get the, eye, you'll get the idea. It's 11.07. 11.07? Mm. Well, 08 now. Oof. But the thing with this was, we were uber methodical with it. Gemma's just smiling to herself. I am. Smiling. Why, why are you having I fun? I am, because you'll have a fit if I tell you why. <laughs> what? You're smiling because I'll have a fit if what? Yeah. Um, I was wondering whether it's just me. You what? Your top left line, the four first floor block, four blocks on the top left, I yeah. think should have been flipped over. So that the black... Can you see? The black is supposed to be the bottom. No, it doesn't matter. Triangles, because all the others are black. If it's, if it's a mirror image of the opposite side and in line with the others, I think those top four on the left the should be... Oh, have we got it around the wrong way? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I did. did. And I was, I was thinking, is it just me? <laughs> and Bridget's gone, it's the top left. There's the four blocks of it. <laughs> and I thought, it's not just me. <laughs> it's all right. We can have a little... We can have a little... skiddle later. <laughs> I'm so, right. like, it won't be so Jane better. and I did this in such a hurry this morning. Jane was laying it out, I was stitching, and we were just <laughs> laying it out. And it's easily done, but this is what I mean. Lay it out and yeah. take your time with it, because obviously we rushed. We did rush. There's no, there's no two ways about it, because I was on my course all weekend. Us, you know, it wouldn't have been, been done this morning. Um, but yeah, no, you're quite right. This is one of those... Um, yeah, but how long did it take for works. you to spot that? 
It took a while, actually. A little while. And then I was like, hang on a minute. Mm. Hang on a minute. But so um, I wonder it's an if easy it's fix. What I want to know is, is it the same on the on the other? Is it just that we sewed it onto Those the wrong bit? Those four blocks are in the correct order. They literally just need to do that. Yeah, but they won't if you spin them. Yeah, no, they're right. honestly. Were they? Yeah, honestly, that's all it is. Just yeah. Those four blocks. Because what I've got here. Oh, is that? Will that be the same? What the difference? Let's have a look. No, that's fine. That's all fine. So that's how it would have looked. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. It's uh, four blocks and they can come doom, 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 done. Perfect. We will unpick that. <laughs> Shirley says, I spotted it but kept quiet. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Shirley. Thanks nice of you, Shirley. <laughs> Do you know what? I didn't actually. I sewed it and kept handing the bits back to Jane. I saw it. I didn't actually sewing. look at it. Yeah. Right, but so what we have got now is... One for that end and one for that end. And then because we're going to do that chevrony thing, they are going to look, they're going to go like so. So this is going to be your middle section. Yeah? Is that starting to make sense? Fabulous. Your outer pieces, mm -hmm. yeah? So when this is stitched together, this will go onto that end bit there. And normally, I would sew the rows together, but actually what I'm gonna do this time is stitch them one on top of the other. JCM's blaming uh, Jane, so it's all Jane's fault. And Jane's ah. saying yes, it is, absolutely. <laughs> None of us noticed. And, uh, and when we team stitch like that, it's on all yeah, of us because it's exactly. all eyes on it. Lowe um, Lo said, what was that statement? We were uber methodical. <laughs> yeah. We were. And still messed up, right? But at so high speed. At um, speed. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, it still I, looks great, though. Do you know what? <clears throat> I kind of, part of me is always pleased where there's, when there's an error yeah. because... It just shows that we're all human, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. We We've all done it as well. And I think the fear of getting things wrong sometimes stops people from starting. And it, if it's... If Look, it it's going to gonna take 10 minutes to yeah, rectify. of course it is. And, um, and that's all fine with me. Oh, Shirley mm. says it's amazing how two sets of fabrics make such a different quilt. Don't they? And this is what I really wanted to show you. Plus, <coughs> I really love the fabrics. So, um, <laughs> la 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 la. But you're right, it is, it is quite yeah. amazing. Here we go. So we're starting to see how this is gonna, how this is gonna pan out. So then I will take the next ones decide which ones I want. Maybe it's going to be a panda. Do I want those two together? Do I want... Ooh, decisions, decisions. Maybe... Shirley saying this new colourway is sort of cheerful and happy, whereas the, uh, the original is classic and suave. Oh, classic and suave, that's us. That's yeah, us. Yeah. Classic and suave, right? Who doesn't need a bit of classic and suave in their life? <laughs> I, I, yeah, well, you've heard me say, I, it, yeah, those, those colours just give me such joy, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe. It, it sounds really, really silly, but I just, I heart them vivi much. And yeah, so I walk in here, I had my lovely friend, and a lot of you, if you watch, um, any kind of shopping TV will know Sarah Millsop. And she was here yesterday. And um, she was over at the NEC at one of the car fairs. And uh, she stopped by to say hi. Um, and um, she's just like, it just feels so calm in here. She said, I doubt it feels like that on a show day. I'm like, mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But she said, it just, 
she's like, no, this is, and this is, this is my happy place. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, it's all good. And it's not always calm, calm on the show days, but it's never, it's never an anxiety inducing environment ever. We have, we, yeah. everything is with great humour, always here, always. <laughs> Everything's with great humour. That's just how we all operate. I think that's why we get on so well. Oh, so Sarah Millsop says that she would like to come and do workshops here. Oh. So if anybody fancies that. doing some jewellery making workshops, still sparkly, uh, then, uh, you know, just thinking. Yeah. You know. Gorgeous. Julia says it just proves that we were watching and paying attention. Oh, you'll get marked on it after the show, Julia, for sure. Or maybe we will. Auntie Lizzie doesn't think, doesn't, she didn't notice. Oh, she, Auntie you know, She Lizzie. thinks it's just a design feature. Is always, Which, is always know. our go-to argument. Yep. Design choice. The quilt design that choice. I made for my friend's son had a block that until I had quilted it and bound it and finished it. Oh, then, noticed, then you spot it. That the bottom left hand Block. Oh look, you even remember which one it was, is, that's hilarious. Yeah, was, um, <laughs> it was sewn on with the wrong side facing out. What is it but they it say? Only Anna is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But the bottom, that bottom corner, and it was there and it was the back of, because it was a polka dot fabric and it kind of, you know, on an immediate glance you couldn't tell that it was the wrong yeah. side. But then hey, once look, I could see it, I could see it, you know. Tilly Rose often uses fabrics the wrong way around to give a more um, shabby sheep look. Nice. So that is her, des that is her actual oh, okay. design choice. Right, now then. Why not? Indeed. I left it, I just stitched a handmade with love label on top of it, a la shabby chic, and went, there you go, done. There you go. Perfect. Jobs are good. Now, mm -hmm. you see, this is where you need to decide which way around you want your pandas to go. Right, yeah. and they're going to go there, and they're going to go so this is the next the next layer coming in, and you can just start to see that what we're getting are pandas going in different directions. That's all right. It's all good. It's all good. And, um, and if you want to, as you can see, just see, I'm just chopping off those bits as they annoy me. I mean, as I go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, it's up to you if you want to. We didn't have time to take off the dog ears earlier. And again, you know, if you are doing this, and especially, you know, if you're taking the time and you spent the money, you might want to just take your time to just square up your blocks because, you know, biases, Gemma, what happens with biases? The fabric moves. Yeah, exactly. I'm doing the hand movement. No one oh, you do? No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Which is, I'm like, why is Gemma quiet? What's happening my in my world? And Gemma's really just helpful. looking like she's playing an accordion in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but to pretend, a pretend accordion. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's going like this. Monday morning, I'm very tired. <laughs> I did warpy, warpy movements with my hands. Oh. Colette says, I already have the DX7 and I love it, but do I really need the NX7? Um, Colette, you're talking to someone who has both. Yes. <laughs> Might and the not be <laughs> and the mini bees. So I might not be the best person to ask that question to. They they do different things. It depends. Um, they do different things. They both so. Uh, but for me, yeah, absolutely love it because. Um, why do I love it so much? Is there a larger throat on the NX? Yeah. yeah. So it's better for for you quilting. So for me, yeah. And also the NX has got. He's, it's got lots more toys. It does have lots of toys. So the DX is smaller and more portable. Because um, people say, well, why, why don't you take the NX to the craft store? I'm like, because it, it's just that, it's that bit bigger. The big boy. So if you are going to do workshops and stuff like that, then take your DX. And we see that this is starting to come together in a rather fabulous way. 
Beautiful. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, what I might just do now is then just start to stitch these together. You could wait, but you know, there's no need to. I'm just going to pop in through that centre point. No, says the pandas are going in different directions for when we are perhaps tipsy. Well, the thing is, once you start cutting into these, you, they're going to they're going to go in different directions at some point, right? Mm -hmm. So, you either take the time and worry about it, or you kind of Show embrace it, it yeah. and go, "That's okay for me." Yeah. And um. And given this is probably going to end up. I would imagine somewhere in the vicinity of Captain Small. Yeah. Although you know what I'm now thinking, don't Gemma? So in my bathroom, I had some beautiful, beautiful <laughs> furniture <laughs> made up in these colours, painted in these colours. Some of them, have, some of it has made it over here, actually. It's not yeah. all in my bathroom anymore. Um, but I'm now thinking, because it's kind of, it, yeah, there's the mirror and there's... I'd use it as a makeup table, but what I'm now thinking is maybe that now needs to go into Emily's bedroom as bedroom furniture. Oh, that would be amazing. And then have this quilt in it. That'd be gorgeous. Do you think my kids are going to get a complex about the fact that they come home and their bedrooms keep changing because <laughs> I've gone, oh, and what I really want is this. What they probably really want is for their rooms to just stay the same. But, you know, you can't all have everything, you can we? experience and confusion. Oh no, why? What have I done wrong? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, it, perhaps it's because, right, we're coming to that chevron part. So Hang no, on. the bit that we're Bridget doing says I wasn't gonna say is this middle time. bit here. So you can see that this is all, this is all happening where we need it to, apart from that quarter there. Um, we're doing these, we're doing this middle strip here. We've done the top, we've done yeah. the bottom. This is the middle strip that we're looking at here. So that is probably why there is confusion. And now because I've been talking, I now need to check what I was sewing because it could go horribly wrong. There, pandas, there, like that. And this is the thing, isn't it? If you, <coughs> when you get interrupted, and um, don't, it's not, I'm not, that's not a criticism. I don't, I, I love to be interrupted, it's fine. I work with Gemma. Um, then if. That's kind <laughs> of what we do though, isn't I it? Know, I know, I know, I know. But we them. also finish each other's sentences. Which is quite nice because it means that I don't have to actually reach the end of it. <laughs> you already know. But there aren't many people you can you do know, that with. People ask the questions. And I, well, I pose them. No, I absolutely. Them. But it just me. Uh, but uh, every day yeah. in in life, you know, it's not just you. I also have small children, who also need an answer immediately, if not sooner, because clearly, oh. if they had not had a snack-based decision. Then the world is going to end. Seconds. Huh? Within 3.2 seconds. <sighs> and when you're making this at home, you won't have <laughs> people Do watching it live. On a day like Claire's got, no kids, no husband. Yeah, no question. Do it on that day no and you'll be fine. If you want to think about which way you are pressing your seams, please do. Um, because this has sort of been done in three parts, I'm not so worried about it. Now, we are getting there. So yeah, Lo, can you see now that this is starting to be that middle section? <laughs> Ooh, it's gonna be a treat for the eyes. Should we use these ones for the next bit? What do you think? And I'm just going to check. Oh, did you hear my knee click? I did. It's impressive. I know, right? Um, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to put in a zebra at this point in time because otherwise I've got my zebras used later. Mm. Um, right, so then you get your next two of the same colour, load them up, and away we go again. This will make sense in a minute, by the way. Well, I mean, I can't promise that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That was a big statement there. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> to me, to me, to you, to me, this will this will all start to come together. An absolute treat. Um, of course, you will be very, very careful how you stack these and cut them perfectly. Yes, yes, you will. We're getting there, Jim. We're getting there. Beautiful. But again, also, the thing to bear in mind is chain piecing is your friend because the first bit that goes into your machine is pointy pointy and if you don't have a fabulous machine what's going to happen Jem? What, 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 what? You chomp it and you will be sad. No two ways about that is there? No. Or use a donkey, a leader, or any of the other things that they get called. So the pattern for this is more a, a layout guide than an actual pattern because it's just cutting squares and half square triangles. The fun bit is how you then decide to lay it out um, for sure and also it will give you your fabric requirements for 5 inch and 10 inch so basically you've got a charm pack or a layer cake that's what it's going to give you just so you know. Dee -dee -dee -dee. You see, I am being methodical. I know that they're taking the mic now because we've sewn it wrong, but <laughs> I am actually being methodical in my own little way. I mean, by they. <laughs> well, just low. Right. Low speaks for the people. Just low. Just, yeah, voice of the people. <laughs> and that's fine too. Low is suspicious that I measured my ring finger wrong. She's oh. making me a ring. Oh, nice. And, uh, but apparently I can adjust it. Exciting. I did do it with a piece of really stiff paper in the middle of a show, to be fair. Brilliant. So there was possibly room for error. Yeah. You know, I don't do things properly, yeah. me. Yeah. I need a link to Lowe's page. I want to have a little browse. I don't know that Lowe's got a website for no. her beautiful jewellery, but... Give us a message, Lowe. Here we go Come again. See your wonderful wares. Oh, wonderful wares. Would you like a wonderful wear? I do. Um, these zebras are going to be all over the place. They might go upside down next to the pandas or maybe we're going to have them here. Oh look, here we go. They can go there and there. Do you want to see this from, uh, from above? Is so this is the Tudor Pink Line Works collection. And um, Ace. I, I loved it from the moment I saw it. Well, yeah, you can see. Like, if we were, if we were, if we'd got to the middle bit, this is where, this is where we'd be at, right? With your chevron and whatnot. Uh, so we're gonna sew that to that, that to that, and then that onto that. We're getting there. Bear with. Bear with. Gemma, what time do I stop doing breakfast, then, Cam? I'm gonna go with twelve as an estimate. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sounds logical, no? They often still have a few sausages up there. I, I need to ask say, them where they get their sausages from because they oh They quite goodness. often have a leftover sausage and you're like, I would just like those in a bag. <laughs> I would just like those in a I bag. I had soup, a couple of sausage and a <laughs> flapjack. The other. I mean, living the absolute dream. And my mum will say to me, and are you eating properly? I'm like, huh? yes. If by sausage you mean properly, absolutely. Protein, yes, yes, for sure. Right. <laughs> you do need a bit of space for this one, I'm not going to lie. Gemma, it is a big one. It is. 
And I did wonder whether to, I'll be honest, to cop out and just do the small one for you this morning. And I was like, no, no, no. A friend asked me the other day, um, is your business just UK based or will it be going out to the world? I just looked around. Sorry, you do know me, right? <laughs> it is going to be the world, clearly. All right, just, just, just asking. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <clears throat> clearly, Gemma, of course. we are going for the world. Just, I will just, just trim spread that joy back. wherever we go. Well, you know, yeah. That's the next thing: is managing to ship fabrics all over the world. Patterns, no bother. All right. So now I'm going to sew the next one onto here on both sides. And then we've only got two more to do. Amazing. I know. And I'm, I'm just, I just want you to see these middle two bits. And I know it's taken a little bit of time and it might not be the most scintillating thing to watch. But, you know, Gemma's here. So we're having a chat as well. <laughs> I mean, if that's a benefit. <laughs> Can I be really honest about this quilt, Gem? Go on. Um, it was a complete accident. And um, I didn't have an overall design for it when I first did it. I was just messing around. A design, um, oh, one of the suppliers that I work for over at uh, the craft store, had hmm. sent me a, a layer cake of the black. That's right. I remember the black layer cake. And I was like, mm, what do I do with that to make that fun? And, um, and that was, I was just, I was literally just messing around with it and then came up with this. But somehow I'd managed to sew some things around the wrong way. And I was like, actually, I really like it like that. So I unpicked and did it so that it was the actual design choice. Yeah. Happy accident. Right. But that's probably why you love it as much as you do. Because when you hit on something like that... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think it's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my thread's just gone for a burton. Someone's just casually got that last Red Barn Christmas layer cake. Oh, have they? Yes, I have my little Good eye on job. that. Well done, Did you. you. Well Do you love you. a Christmas quilt, Jen? I love a Christmas quilt. The first patchwork quilt I did was um, a Christmas one. Was it? Yep, a little Moda charm pack. Is there just something nice about bringing out your Christmas quilt? Yeah, yeah. really nice. And I've got table runner. Obviously, I now want to do a different Christmas table runner. That's the only issue I have is that I always go, oh, and now I've seen a different one that I love. What about the one Amanda's. that Amanda... Yeah, 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 yeah exactly I was going to say. Because exactly they are also it. your house colours, aren't they? They are. And I'm thinking that there's an entire month of December there. And chances are I'm going to want the table dressed nicely for the whole month. And we're about to get gravy and stuff on things. I am... Um, so, yeah. What's just happened here? I'm not actually threaded and sewing right, Aww. am I? Something's gone horribly wrong. Oh, um, no, do you know what I was just thinking? I was laughing to myself, which was when I sewed off the end of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing to myself because you can tell that out of the two of us, you are the one that has grown up kids when you say, I will want the table dressed beautifully throughout December. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's okay. not going to be covered in Pokemon cards and all the other no. detritus that ends up all over <laughs> my table, is it? No. You'll get there one day. Fine. Do you think? Yeah. I'm in, that, I'm in that bit where, you know, my kids are three and seven. And I don't know if I will ever have a tidy house again. Like, I just don't know. It feels too huge to ever actually... It seems a long way away, but then they grow. But then there's, it's just going to be a blink of an eye, though, isn't it? They grow in secret. They grow in secret. <laughs> Every day. For those of you that are wondering what we're talking about, um, there's... I mean, it's only... It's mildly offensive, to be fair. Who was it? What was the... What was, which was, who was the comedian? John Bishop. John Bishop does a, a, a thing on, um, on your children. Yeah, teenagers. Teenagers. So how... They grow in secret. 
and you don't notice them growing, but little bits of loveliness fall off of them. Drop just off, little yeah. Little bits of loveliness just fall away until you're left with a teenager. <laughs> As they grow in secret. <laughs> it, was, it was very funny, and it is probably very true. Aww. Right. Ha-ha, we're getting there. We've now got to choose a couple more. Oh, do you know what? Shall we leave these two for a dramatic middle? I love them. Should we have a dramatic middle? Because I've got two of those left. Mm. Dramatic middle, everybody, coming Why up. Not? Why not? Um, the lemur and the spots. How are we placed for those? Yep, we can have those on the next round. Oh, Auntie Lisa says she loves hearing us both chuckle. <laughs> and Julia says Just she, as can, well. she can tell when I read Lowe's comments. <laughs> My little chuckles and things. Oh, what noises off. Yeah. 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 Right, do you know what? If anybody asks me, because um, I'm doing this course and we have to... It, it's... Yeah. And... Um, you know, you, you sort of take stock of your business and whatnot and whatever. And what I am, what I, one of the things that I love most is is our community. Mm, agreed. But otherwise, why do we do this? I could be, uh, you know, and, and on the bigger channels, it, you know, don't get me wrong, it's lovely and I have a laugh with the presenters and everything else when I'm demoing. But we don't get this interaction. No. It is, it's all, it's all very, well, I mean, apart from when I'm there, very professional. <laughs> <laughs> I can't claim that when I'm there. I have far too much fun and get told off. Um, but, um, you know, it, it is. It's one of those things that I, I want. I, I love this interaction. Yes. And this is what we have here is an amazing core of you that watch. And I know that we don't we don't always get the chat from YouTube because we don't have enough screens no. to be to be checking everything no. all the time. Josh keeps an eye for us. He does. And we do love you YouTubers as well, by the we way. Do. We do. Of course Big we love do. to you guys. Um. You might want to pin these so they don't move quite so much. <laughs> I am wondering how big of a job that is going to be to change that corner. Oh, it won't be a big job. Or if I just leave it in. You could. And see who spots it. But I reckon this I... will be some kind of record to get a quilt of this size yeah, done. Yeah, made so fast. By midday in one day. That's got to be going some, surely. Yeah, it has, for sure. Um, I just know that you could threaten to leave that top section not changed but myself or Jane will be there with a seam ripper <laughs> faster than you can blink we'll be like quick we'll, well I know because I know minutes. that Jane's going to be blaming herself which is silly but I know oh, that she's going to be those four blocks can be switched around super quick because the four yeah. are in the correct order they're just upside down they're on way around yeah, just take those four out switch them over job done bishdy bish bash bosh as they say well I say Super excited. Joe says, my now. four have all left home and I still have their stuff in my house, keeping it safe apparently. Joe, I'm really hoping that my mum has now clicked off and is doing something else because she still has some of my stuff in her loft and I'm 40. <laughs> <coughs> She's got some of Meg's baby Sauveds. stuff. Sauveds. Huh? She's got some of Meg's baby stuff. Has she? Yeah. And we need to like get rid of that now because aside Me from anything else. Meg is not a baby. Um, yeah, and I'm definitely not having any more children. No, you are not. Um, That's very true. Because, you know, no womb at the inn. Uh, <laughs> or as I said to Megan yesterday, no woman, no cry. <laughs> There's so many womb-related <sighs> shenanigans I can come out with. Everybody needed um, to know that, Gem. <laughs> Everybody needed to know that this morning. why have I kept her baby things? I don't it know. It was in case I had another baby. Oh, yeah, I'm that reason. clearly not, not going, going to do. To do. Not, not happening. Oh, dear. Not happening. But now I'm so all cute. discombobbed. There so we go. Cute. Um, lemur. <laughs> love a lemur. We do love lemur. 
Oh, Geraldine says, your business has grown so much now, Natasha. I do miss the odd moment that Half Pint would walk across the screen or the children would pop up. Oh, they will still pop up. Don't you worry about that. Well, um, the children. Half Pint. I don't know if Geraldine heard the story about Half Pint. Half Pint has... Um, actually... I, I never do that. I never rehome animals. No. Like, once they're with me, they're with me for life. Yeah. But, but, but... Once we moved across here, and a few other things have happened, but once we moved across here, um, Half Pint, and she's an old girl, she's 16. She was just sitting on the doorstep waiting for me to come home every day. Now, at 16, she does not need to be sat out in the cold waiting for me to come home. She doesn't like using a cat flap. She could have gone in. She could have done. But she doesn't like using a cat flap, so she doesn't. And you don't want her trapped in. And Yeah. No. And, um... No, well, she likes to go out. And she when does. we were there, yeah. she was in and out every time we opened the door. So of that course. was fine. Um, but then for my, ninth, for my 90th, for my nan's 90th, she had said that what she really wanted more than anything else in the world was a cat. Mm -hmm. But the rescue centres, they weren't going to buy a kitten and the rescue centres wouldn't consider them because my granddad is 94 and Nanny Moo is turning 90. So Freddie and I came up with the idea that actually Half Pint would probably... She just wants a lap. Yeah. She just wants a lap to sit on. Yeah. So Half Pint has gone to live with Nanny Moon and Granddad. I took her down, is it last weekend? Not this yeah. weekend, the weekend before. Yeah, yeah. And I keep getting reports back. Yeah. And they've renamed her Happy because she is HP. always happy. Yeah. Um, it, HP, she was HP because she was so tiny and they didn't actually expect a Half Pint. She, they didn't expect her to last the night when the rescue centre gave her to me. Um, but no, little HP is living, living the dream. She is. She's absolutely living the dream. She's, she's incredibly happy, but also Nanny Moo and Grandad have got a cat. She has made Nanny Moo's dreams come true. <sighs> she really, and that's exactly what she said to me. She said, yeah. Thank you so much. So whilst I w never normally, never normally would give away my animals. No. At all. On this one very rare occasion, it just felt that actually and if you'd have kept her it would have been for selfish reasons really because you'd have been keeping her because you'd miss her do you know the um, other thing is that scares me is that she trip traps across that main road yeah, yeah. and i've watched her have a near miss on several occasions yeah. and it does not after th losing no. theo on the road it's but she's always been an outdoor cat so it's, it's not really fair to suddenly keep her no. in and it's a beautifully selfless thing you've done there as well because you so, do miss um, her. You know, we do miss her. We all miss her. So there, but there but will not then. be any more HP bottom-related <laughs> shots. <laughs> I don't think that Malcolm and Morty ever quite clicked, twigged what we were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, else I think they would have been in on the action. Malcolm always used to sit under the bench. Yeah. Um, a la... Oh, the British Empire. Yes. <laughs> the baby in the drawer. The baby in the drawer. Um, and you see, this oh. is it. I can say that to you, Gemma, and you are of an age that you yeah, will remember. I, do. I said that with Josh and SJ in the room, and there was just. No. Tumbled. No. Well, it's like that the various terms I've used in front of SJ, and she will not believe that they exist, like flying by the seat of your pants. And she laughed one day, and she went. Oh, I love that you have that saying that's all yours. I was like, no, it's not all no, mine. It's not, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a thing. I have shared it with the world. No, 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 no. It, it's the, it's, it's, it's not it's a thing, It's not a gemmerism. And I said, no, honestly, it's not, it's not a me thing. It's an actual thing. And I said, Josh, come on, back me up. And Josh went, never heard it before. I was like, oh, my Well, word. you didn't ask me, did you? Or we Jane or, or Inga. Yeah, no. We'd have helped. But the, the both of them looked at me like I was stark raving mad. They do that anyway. Well, they do. But, you know. And then, would you like to tell everybody how SJ came to realise that you were not telling porcupines? Um, we have a cheekily named brand of toilet paper. Who gives it? Um, <coughs> yeah, in our in our toilets here, and there is a gold roll that comes in the box. So they're all wrapped in paper. Um, they're really they're lovely. It's bamboo them. toilet paper, so it it's really um, responsibly sourced. Yes. And, and of course, bamboo is one of the fastest growing plants out there. So blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And it's it's all subscription as well. So when everybody in the, in the pandemic yeah. was panicking about not yeah. having enough toilet roll, I was like, 
mine will just be delivered in a box. She'll and we have a similar thing. We we have a lady in the village who set up a business that's bamboo toilet paper, and it's you know it's really easily like you say reproduced and everything. Um, but this particular brand that you have, there is a gold roll in the box that says emergency roll, and it says on it you are quite literally flying by the seat of your pants. And uh, SJ came back from the loo and she went. You weren't fibbing to me. It is an actual thing. I was like, no, 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 it really is an actual thing. I love thing. how that happens. I, I mean, what are the chances <laughs> of running out of toilet roll on the same day that that actually happens? I think that's hilarious. I love the fact that she will believe a toilet roll when it tells her something, but she won't believe me. <laughs> she clearly thought I was quite mad. <laughs> and the moral of that story, Gemma, is... So much credibility here, haven't I? That so the toilet here. roll is more believable than you are. Yeah. I in know. SJ's eyes. Not in my no. clearly, darling. Oh, you Claire Angela well. says you haven't given HP away. She's with family. Oh, she's with she's family. She's basically a therapy cat now. She's basically a therapy cat. And, and you know what? If anything, God forbid, happened to my grandpa, she'd come straight home. Yeah, of course. Of course. But the, my grand, I'm, I'm not sure if this is all right to share or not. <laughs> my granddad just said to me, he said, um, he said, well, I'm 94, Nanny Mew's 90. We don't, we only go out sort of once a week to go shopping. So we do row quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who wouldn't? I know, I know, I know. So I'm quite hopeful that this will give us something else to talk about. <laughs> but you can just see that, can't you? Yeah. I don't care who I was shut up with day in, day out. No. Or how much I love them. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to start around with a cardboard box if I was shut up with it long enough. <laughs> I mean, life goals. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that did make me chuckle. SJ's Old now people that, that bicker oh, just absolutely. make me laugh. Make me laugh. When my granddad was in a nursing home, he was in an elderly mental illness nursing home. And... Um, the bickering that went on in there was a beautiful thing, bless them. And because um, I don't know what my my, my grandma mm. was widowed. When my, uh, my grandpa died when my mum was eighteen, so I never knew him. So my grandma was just this lovely, cuddly woman. Um, you know, big bosomed, like proper cuddly woman, Excellent. as every grandmother should be in my book. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna like get that sort of figure the bullswams yeah to to be that you know later on in life but i'm hopeful and um so so i never i never saw her bicker with you know it just you know for me my my you know grandparents were just were just lovely and placid and everything else but no they do it's quite funny yeah and you have to laugh because you know some of what you see is is sad but you have to laugh because it, it's... Oh, they love each other to bits. So yeah. There's no there's no doubt yeah. about that. Yeah. The, uh, and we all do it, don't we? We all bicker with those that we love, even though we shouldn't. You know, oh, we come on, Gemma. I hear you on the phone with your husband. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely hilarious. I know. And we don't, you know, it's we don't ever row, row, actually. But I quite often... That's the thing that I think gets us through, is we both <laughs> tell each other when the other one's being irritating. <laughs> Seriously? It's an option. It's an option. <laughs> But yeah, I can just imagine when we're really old and being cantankerous with each other. Oh my God. It'll be a beautiful thing. It'll be a beautiful thing that it your will. children will enjoy. Oh endure. Yeah. I mean enjoy. Endure, <laughs> yes. Endure and enjoy. Hey, look, is this making more sense now? I think we have a statement middle. Beautiful. What do you think? Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. We are getting there. It's been a long one today, sorry peeps, but um, you know. Yeah, it's like nearly 10 to 12. Huh? Nearly 10 to 12. Oh, hang on. That sausage sandwich is calling. <laughs> it's slipping away Crikey. from you, isn't it? <laughs> slipping away, that sausage sandwich. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs>
speed sewing. This is how stuff gets done. <laughs> la 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 la. It's also how I make massive mistakes. <laughs> right. Okay. So those two together are going to go like that. Perfect. Should have done one going one way, one going the other. I'll just flip that seam up. You can repress it if you want. This is going to be so much fun. So much fun. So much fun. Right. Oh no, you see now I've got double dog ears. I have a Margo and Maud around the place. Claire Angelina, do not tell me about husbands and phones. Sorry? Oh. Hang on, bear with me. I'm just going to make a noise. Okay. You what? Claire Angelina saying about her husband and phones and general, you know, shenanigans on that front. That's, I, um, that's boys and their toys, isn't oh, it? Oh, well, Guy I never know when my phone is due for an upgrade, Stephen no. always knows. Guy doesn't have any understanding of technology, really. And he had an iPhone through work, an iPhone 7, and then last year he went up for potential redundancy and then had to reapply for a different role, which is surprisingly similar to the current one. Yeah, but he did. amazing, <laughs> amazing. Know. Doing but he didn't ooh. qualify for a mobile phone or a company car or various other wonderful things he had with his previous very, very similar role. Um, <laughs> Spot the difference, shall we, on the role? He needed a phone. And I was like, right, okay, well, you know, you don't really use the functions of an iPhone. Well, you've all got iPhones, so oh. I want an iPhone. Oh, really? And I was like, really? He said, well, yes, you've all got one. And I thought, you know what, actually, he knows how to use it, so we'll get him an iPhone 7 because that's what he understands. And they've changed that's since then. You know, the button... Like the button's gone now. I thought I know he won't get his head round there not being a button. So that's what I got him for oh gosh, birthday I think it was last year. After about eight months, he was asking me to look something up on the internet for the eight hundredth time and I said, Look, you've got an iPhone, why are you not looking this up yourself? And he said, Well, I can't do the internet on that. <laughs> and I said, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Can you just tell me why I am paying and for an iPhone contract? What, what do you use it for? Well, I make phone calls on it. Yep. I send Megan a text sometimes. Yep, all of those things that you could do on a very basic, very, very cheap phone, guy. A pay-as-you-go handset, but you wanted an iPhone. <laughs> well, I can't have apps on it. Yes, yes, that's actually what it's for. You have the internet and apps, and that's what makes it different. <laughs> wow. Wow. So that's how that conversation then, went. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. There are the technologically challenged out there. There are. Yeah. There are. And I think, you know, I, I think, but the nice thing about Guy is that he will always put his hand up for that. Always. Like, it's not like he's pretending to be anything other than Guy. No. And we, I, you know, I like we all that have about our, him. We all have our, you know, strengths and our weaknesses, don't we? Yeah. Um, and that is an is. His strength really is not technology at all. At all. Or ever. DIY. No, unless it's woodwork. Honestly, he can make me some fabulous shelves or build me something out of wood brilliantly. Yeah. But yeah, you know, if a, if a, a device needs installing or plumbing in, that's me. That's always me. <laughs> Sylv Sparkly says, him indoors has two phones. Kept the old one when he upgraded with a new contract. I know, I, I have no idea why he needs two phones. But he manages to lose both of them frequently. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the joy, isn't it? That yeah. is the joy. Um, Guy never answers his uh, because he never has it on him. And I say his him. You do know this is a mobile, mobile. phone, yeah. as in it will move around. And he says, well, I could just keep it on the bedside table, which really means I could have just put a landline phone in, <laughs> just another handset, plugged it in, job done. Look at that. Talking of job done. Ah! Right. Very beautiful. Now. Now. <laughs> are you going to finish this now? Or are you going to go with like that? No, but I mean, like, like it's really a big old quilt. Or are you going to finish this? Or are going to twiddle with it and get some images afterwards? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are you going to actually do it now? with my sausage sandwich. <laughs> well, clearly. <laughs> I 
I'm just going to um, have, so when I'm just so that you know, because I've, I've realised I've gone quite quiet, um, which is worrying for a lot of people. Mm. <laughs> it's certainly you, unusual. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> What's going on now? You're more suspicious when you go quiet. Yeah. All of us. What's she up to? Yeah. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm putting seams in the opposite direction. Whether they were pressed that way or not right now, I'm not really worrying about that. And, um, you know, you will have trimmed yours back so they will all look fabulous. But I'm just doing this and I'm going to whiz this together very, very quickly. And if I need to unpick it later and make it perfect, then I will. But I just want you to get an idea of how this is going to come together. Captain Small is going to love this so much. Do you know what? She's got a dress to match. I made one of the pillowcase dresses out of this yeah, as well. I've seen it. So, um, and um, oh, which is quite super duper. Clearly, going to have to dress her room with this. I know, right? And the furniture, and have her in a little dress for a photo shoot. Yeah. And then I'll change my mind the following week. Will right. someone please get Natasha her sausage sandwich? I mean, I'm going to say it, but I think they'll stop serving these things in five minutes. And if poor Jane has got to go full pelt sprinting no, to the I camp. Can't, yeah, but no, I can't, I can't no. send Jane no. for no, a sausage can't. sandwich because she's vegetarian. She's vegetarian and that, as well. So no. I kind of feel really bad if I ever do that. No. So I don't ever do not that. Happening. Absolutely I not. I think I just have to... <laughs> admit defeat on the sausage sandwich front. My mum laughs because she's like, you have always, always, always loved sausages. Yeah. Like ever since I was a little girl. And yet, one of my earliest school memories was my very first day at school. Bearing in mind, I'm an August baby. Yeah. So I was always you the youngest, mm. really super, super tiny when I first went to school. And my mum used to bake her own bread. She'll be sitting there at home going, God, that nice ch happy childhood memory. Um, so, <laughs> so I was I was very much the youngest in the school. Um, clearly not the smallest because I giant, but I was the youngest. And I'm as a child, I was always a very good girl that did as I was told. As a mm. I, I did put the mm. caveat in like as a child, right? Okay. And um, as a young child. As a young child. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, so at lunchtime, you had to eat all your lunch. And my mum, bless her, because she knew that I loved sausages, had made me a sausage sandwich. But she'd put it on her very chewy, very thick, chunky, homemade bread, wholemeal oh. bread slices. Well, little four-year-old me, there was no way that I could get all the way through that. She clearly thought I was going to be there for a month or something. <laughs> there was just no way that I was able to get through that amount of bread and sausage <laughs> before we were all called back to go back to class. So the whole canteen, because I can't leave until I've eaten my lunch, right? You clear your plate. Oh, no. I couldn't, and then I couldn't, I didn't know where my class was, and I'm the only one left. Oh. This little little four-year-old left in the canteen by myself, so mean. trying to eat my sausage sandwich so that I don't get told off for not finishing my lunch, and then not having a clue where my class is. That was my first day at school. They came and got me. <laughs> it was all fine. Uh, and yet still I like sausage sandwiches. So it clearly hasn't traumatised me that much, has no. it? No. Absolutely no. not. No. We are nearly there. Right. What I will do, I will put this on. I won't take the other half down, but you can see how you'll get the idea how this is going to look. Bless, they're all worried about you and your sandwich. <laughs> No, can't right. you order the sandwiches to be delivered? No, we can't. No, we um, don't know that they offer that and we like as a go, service. We like to go and say hi, don't we, anyway? We do. Really lovely team they are down there. Jim, do you want to come grab the other end? Yeah, of course I can. Come on then. Um, also, mm. Helen would like to see the three of the penguin fabrics together. Oh, well, why wouldn't you? Please, in a min. To me. To me, to you, to me, to you. I mean... 
kind of love it. Look, look at that. Rather fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That. 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 I can't tell you what everyone thinks now. No, I know. I know, I know. I know. over there with the comments. All right, there we go. But, uh, yeah. um, so that is that. And we need penguins, do we? Those ones. But of course you can, I mean, this is the beauty of it. You can shimmy it around to do however you wish. And if you wish penguins together, they are your penguins together. And, um, you know, if you're going for the complete collection on these, I would just say that there are worse things that you could do than, um, you know, pop them together. Look at those, they're gorgeous. You could ombre these, to be fair, look at them. And where we go, but so yeah, you could you could do all of that, and it would be rather fabulous. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's today's show, everybody. Tomorrow we're going to make sparkly stuff for Christmas. So get your sparkle on, Silva. I expect you here at ten o'clock with your full sparkle on because we have got glorious, glorious things. Do you know what else I've got, Gem? What else? Ooh. Ooh, pearl lace. Yep, got the lot. Um, so if it's insanely pretty and sparkly, it'll be on the show tomorrow. So you have a fabulous day. In fact, there's going to be lots on there that we won't actually demo tomorrow, but it gives you a heads up to buy it in advance of what we're going to do with it. Nice. It will all become clear when you're here tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Take care. I'm going to go and have some lunch. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.